All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about options inventory control. Some of you may be wondering what exactly that is. And let me give you an explanation from what we've already done. So we've already created a shirt that's blue, primrose, and fuchsia. Wow, this is gonna be an ugly shirt. And we have small, medium, and large, extra large, and double extra large. Well, normally, what would happen is, in the real world, we would have separate SKUs for every single one of those different combinations. So your primrose small would have one skew, your primrose medium would have another skew, your primrose large would have another skew, on and on and on, and on all the different combinations. And what we allow you to do is basically create those combinations quickly and automatically so that you can actually use the software as your inventory management system for these products as well. So let's take a look at how to do that. There's two ways to do that. One way is the regular drop-down way, which we already have. And the other way is drop down smart match. Smart match adds one extra element in that it ties in the inventory to the option. So that if, let's say, blue large was out of stock, blue large would disappear as an option for this product. So enough talk and let's start doing it. We're going to go ahead and set this to drop down smart match. Click on save changes and we're going to set the other one to drop down smart match as well. All right, so we just set those both to drop down smart match. We'll go ahead and click on products. And this is the product, the Jake's Cool shirt that we want to set up, which is shirt 01. So we'll scroll down to the product options section. And the first thing we need to do is check this enable options inventory control. This helps with all the magic. This tells the software to create products based on the combinations of its options that it currently has, which is what we've selected already. So we'll go ahead and click on Save Changes, and we'll scroll down, and it looks identical. Well, the reason is because the things we need to look for are way down here underneath the Save Changes. If you click on Inventory Control Grid for Shirt 01, you'll see we have a bunch of products now here. These are the combinations of the products. So we have a Primrose Extra Large, a Primrose Extra Large, a Primrose Small, a Primrose Medium Large, etc., etc., with all the different color combinations. And over here is the stuff that you need to fill out. This tells the product or the software what the product code is for this child product. These are all children products of the parent product. The parent product being Shirt 01, the product we're currently in. And these need their own product codes in order to be stored in the database. And you need to provide them. Now you may be wondering, well Jake, could the software do that? Well yeah, the software can do that, it's just not turned on by default. And another thing is, the software can't completely guess what you want your codes to be, so it just does some simple numbering for you. Now, a lot of times that's good enough, but sometimes you still need to get the new products. Basically what it's going to do is just put a dash and then 001, 002, 003, 004. Now if you don't want that, you need them to be something else, then you might as well just go ahead and change the codes here and then click Save Changes to Inventory Control Grid so it creates the products. And when it creates the products, you'll see a screen up here that says Create these products for you and it'll give you the whole list. But if you just want a simple one, 001002, well then let's go up to the top here and we'll click on Products and under Inventory. We need to set up a, one of the product settings real quick, which is going to be Smart Match Auto Create Child Inventory. Go ahead and check on that box and click Save Changes. And then we'll go back into Shirt 01. And we'll scroll down. And nothing's changed. Well, the reason nothing's changed is because the software caches the options. It's a optimization technique that we use to help make your sites faster. But in this case, it can't hinder your progress. So what we're going to do here first is we need to remove the options and then save the changes so that the software rebuilds the cache and then we're going to add the options back so it reconnects it all again together but with the new option that we just set. So we'll click on save changes here, scroll down and we'll see that all the products have disappeared. So we'll go to click to edit and add all these options back again. Click on save changes and we'll scroll to the bottom here and we see all the new products now with their brand new product codes. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. As I said, it's not very but it gets the job done. So if we go to view all for under products, bam, we have all our new products right here under shirt 01. So let's go ahead and play around with the stock status here. 
As you can see, normally the price is 99, but on the double X we added the vendor price difference of four dollars. So this became 103 for the product price. And we're going to say set the stock statuses here, so we can actually take a look at these products. Well, let's actually go ahead and take a look at what they look like now first. And refresh. Take a look at the drop downs, and you'll see that it starts to say first select, choose your options. So you choose blue, fuchsia, primrose. We'll choose blue right now. And then it'll update the second set, and we have all the sizes because they're all in stock right now. So let's go ahead and set the stocks real quick. We'll say one, and then the rest of these will be zero or five. I'm sorry. Five, five. Click on save changes. Now, the software has added that, those numbers to the stock status of each of these products. As you can see here, it says plus whatever the number was. Let's go ahead and we're going to choose large and we're going to hit add to cart and place an order. Actually, we're not going to really place an order, we're just going to change it. Order will just take too long. We'll click on back, refresh. So we have blue and large is still in here. What we're going to do here is refresh back here. We're going to say negative one here to make this turn to zero. We have zero blue larges, and let's go ahead and refresh the front of the store. Blue. Oh, we have large. Well, there's one more thing we need to check before we're allowed to actually use config enable smart match. We'll go into settings, config variables, and we're going to pop it open in a new window here. And look at variables. You need to uncheck config enable allow back orders in order for smart match to know to pull the option out of inventory. Otherwise, you're saying that you want it to always be an in inventory no matter what because you're allowing back orders. So now if we refresh blue longer in the list. And that's how you set up a smart match. In the next section we're going to talk about setting up enable multi-child add to cart.